journeying for its childlike trust. I believed that the Lord's way was best. I would read in His Word how He mothered the bird and grieved when it fell from its nest. How I felt His delight when I chose to do right, and I prayed I would not make Him sad. been steep through wild, jagged places of life. Sometimes I've stumbled and fallen so hard that the stones cut my soul like a knife. But the staff of my shepherd would reach out for me and lift me to cool pastures green. With oil of the Spirit anointing my wounds. To be true, do you find all this hard to believe? Has the cruel world we live in so battered your heart that the hurt child inside you can't grieve? I can't say I blame you, I've been where you are, but all I can say is it's true. You're wanted, you're precious. You're the love of His heart And the old rugged cross was for you
even for the master from the dawn to setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there.
It's an honor for me today to welcome all of you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and on behalf of the Tanyares family, we are here to remember and celebrate the life of Pastor Silva. It is our hope that every part of this service will honor a life that was well lived. My name is Wesel, a friend and a board member of the Rambi Speaking Church here in Lotoka. I'll be your MC this morning and it's a great honor to even be standing up here. Before we comment, there is a special song that family and friends they want to sing before we start our service and homegoing service this morning.
for your faithfulness, for your provision of God for our lives. Thank you, God, for your kindness. Thank you, God, for each and every one who are here, each and every family who are here, God, who are gathered again under this roof of God to commemorate of God. Our Father, Our uncle, our brother, and our pastor, one of God, Sila Tabiro. I pray, O oh God, for the family who are far away from you, must be. Father, we commit this time into your capable hands, O oh God. As we are about to proceed on, O oh God, with the program, O oh God, to save us, O oh God. We ask for your Holy Spirit, O oh God, to be in the midst of God today. Father, we pray. We are praying to oh God. Father, I pray all this. In the mighty name of God, Jesus Christ, who dies for us. And everybody says, Amen. Church here in Fiji. I now would like to invite you, Reverend Tibo to come up and share God's word. 
and also whatever the Lord has put in your heart this morning. plan that the Lord has planned for us to come and it's a time for us to redeem and nobody can escape because the Lord has set the day the date and the time but we are so thankful that we can come and be part of the farewell service for Pastor Sira. A little bit I want to share how I came to know this family Way back in 1976, that was my first trip to Rambi. And I believe that was the year the church in Rambi were dedicated. We went in a big boat, Moaya. And uh, we experienced the goodness of the Lord in the island, beautiful island, with the special anointing power of the Word of God, which has been shared with the heart of the island, have received us. And we were so blessed, we spent a few days there. And more people, 30 plus, were baptized, accepting the Lord in that trip. And uh, 1983, when I was posted in Sao Sao to be the branch manager for Kunjis, and it happens, a relationship has been built again there to the family of the PCF in Rambi. And I was so grateful and so thankful. Pastor Sirius' uh, father, well, the senior pastor, Pastor Tan, we were very close to each other. In the Lord, and as the family, and I thank God, I've learned a lot from Pastor Tan. Pastor Tan is the long service pastor in the family of the PCF. And I always acknowledge the Lord in his life. And when I came to be a senior pastor, almost every year I visited Rambi, spent time with him, stayed together in his house. I've learned a lot. He has a soft heart, but he loves the Lord. He loves the Lord. And I was so blessed to get to know Pastor Tan. Then I think three times he has been retired. We can't retire him because he has the passion for the Lord. He loves to share the good news about the Lord. He experienced and witnessed the power of God upon his life as he took the step of obedience to the call of God. And I have blessed and I'm so thankful. Before that, I was just no more member, no more leader. Then I became a pastor then became the leader of the fellowship now, I still can't forget. A time came, my vision was to see all the island people of our beautiful island in Rambi, when they come to the mainland, there should be a spiritual family here. That was my vision, to set up every church in every district. Time came when Pastor Corietta was with us in the English Fellowship. So I encourage him, we plan, why don't we start the Rambi? We start the Rambi, then after that he left for Suva. We start the Rambi walk in Suva. Then there was a vacuum here. Then I heard that Pastor Sira is around. So I call a meeting with Pastor Sira and uh, Brother Tony Kai. We have few coffees in the restaurant, I share my heart. You people are like key people in the organization, in the company which you work. You work for this Remington as a manager. Tony Kai is a manager for the uh, dress metal. I said, in the, in the physical, in the natural, the directors trusted you too. But not forgetting 
that trust they have in Newton's life because of God in Newton's life, because the call of God is upon Newton's life. We need to start the work of the Rambi in Lotoka. And I thank God, a humble beginning, we start the Rambi work in Lotoka from that era, starting the Bapata, Rasak Ruja, Rasak Housing, then from there we moved to Israeli, then from Israeli we had uh, Tabakumbu. That humble beginning, that seed has been shown. I can't forget Tal Tal Asira, and I thank the Lord for him and his spouse and his children for standing behind him and support him. And I want to thank you pastors and leaders in the fellowship of the Rambi. Thank you for standing with Talatala in good time, in bad times. Thank you for standing with him and the church of the Rambi Church in Lotoka. I want to thank you all for your support and stand with Talatala. That humble beginning that you people can come this far 2019, when I was invited to be the speaker in the conference of the Rami ethnic in the island, I was more blessed with my wife. I've seen the hand of God into you people's life. Hallelujah. So, in all this, no wonder the Lord said, Paul wrote to the, uh, to the Corinthian church, whatever you do, whether you speak, whether you eat or drink, do it for the glory of God. And I'm so grateful and so thankful. I wish to know the Banaban language so I can share it in Banaban. But in Hindi, a little bit Prabhu Kije. Meori. So this morning, this is, I just want to share my heart from my office on behalf of the EBE. We acknowledge Taldala service. As we acknowledge his upbringing through his parents. They were great men and women, Taltala and Randini, great men and women of God. This is the result of their upbringing to Taltala Sira. So, families, we love you people. We are with you people in our prayer. Church, we are with you people. We are with you people in our prayer. Anytime you need, we are here. If you need seek advice, any assistance, we are here. So, I just want to say, this is on behalf of the EBE. I represent to the EBE and from my personal family too. That's why I thought to share this before I share the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So may the Lord bless us all. Talatalatan Sira has done his part. He has equipped you people. He has trained you people. Everything, the roadmap of our fellowship is already there in your hand. So when he lives, when I lives, Everything is there biblically, that we have the vision, clear vision, we have a sense of direction, we know where we are heading, we are not wandering, we know the sense of direction of our fellowship, that the family of the PCF should uphold the vision of our fellowship, that we should be passionately worshiping God, and truly loving one another, irrespective of whatever color, whatever language and tongues, we should be a church that... Uh, Church that passionately worshiping God 24-7. Irrespective of whatever weather, whatever circumstance we are going through, we should be passionately worshiping God. And the second pillar, truly loving one another. I don't know why I so blend with the Rami people, with Rami Island. I don't know. That's how the Lord works. Way back in 1976 to 1983 till today. Truly loving one another. Not only that, then third pillar, faithfully upholding sound doctrine. This is the beauty of our fellowship, irrespective what office you have, or if you don't have office. After the preaching of the pastor in the pulpit, we carry our pulpit along with us in faithfully upholding sound doctrine. Everything is biblical, we uphold. In other words, if you see anything unbiblical in front of you or in your friends or in your fellowship, you have to preach to him or preach to her. That's the beauty. It's 24-7. It's not that your name should come in the program, then you prepare yourself. No. Us, we are faith, a family of faithfully upholding sound doctrine means 24-7. Not only that, but consistently, fourth pillar of our mission, 
consistently modeling Christ-like life. It's not only when you enter in the church. It's not only when the time you take part in the choir or in the musician. No, it's 24-7 faithfully, um, consistently modeling Christ-like life. Wow. People will be blessed. People will be touched. People, they will love to have what you have because they will impress something unique, something special to that man, to that woman, to that young boy, to that young girl. That's why it's very important for us to uphold sound doctrine because everything will fall into place in faithfully, uh, in consistently modeling Christ-like life. Once that falls into place, automatically will fall into place that you will have the boldness and the boldness for you to proclaim the good news to reach out to the unreached for the lost to be won. I thank God, Taltala. I salute you, Taltala Sira. You have done your part, my Taltala, my good friend. I love you, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. You caught the heart of God for us to work as a team. Just like Paul, Timothy, Silas, uh, Timothy and Silas were part of his team. And I thank God. You are one of my Timothy. I thank God. That God will going to continue to bless your family, Tatawa. You will be rewarded with a special reward which God has in store for you because for your faithfully obedient to the call of God into your life. And now his church will continue to grow because Jesus is the head of the church and the owner of the church where he stated in the book of Matthew 16, 18 downwards, where he stated to Peter, Peter, on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So run the ethnic, be grateful, be thankful. You are in the right church, because Jesus is the head of the church. Jesus is the builder of the church. Jesus redeemed his church. Jesus is sanctifying his church. Jesus is preparing his church before his returning. So you are part of that great church. No wandering around. Circumstances will come one after the other. Remain in Jesus because Jesus is the head of the church. Is the bill of the church. Is the owner of the church. Everything. God will be with you. God will be for you. I want to encourage you. The Banaban ethnic. Hallelujah. We want to see that to open another branch in Nani. So may the Lord bless us all. Hallelujah. For this... Uh, uh, I take it as my our eulogy for the EBE. So this morning, I would like to share a little bit from the woman, from the Word of God. Humankind's normal way of thinking about death is considered as lost. People lose the breath of life when they die. They lose the capacity to function and to work, and to serve, and to minister. They lose the fellowship of their friends and their family. So we normally think how unfortunate it is to die. But at the heart of our Christian faith, we believe for Christian, death is not a tragedy. But it is the gateway to eternal life. No wonder Paul stated in the book of Philippians 121, For me to live is Christ and to die is King. Even John had the voice from heaven in the island of Patmos, where he stated, Revelation 14:13, Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Right, blessed are the dead who died in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Lord, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. And I thank God this morning. This is one of the reasons why we are here this morning. So this morning, the text where my preaching is, is found from the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 13 downwards it reads in the book of first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 downwards it reads 
But I would not love, I would, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring them with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent from which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So, I thank God this morning because I would like to put the title of the message which I'm going to share this morning, Comfort one another of these words. It's very important when we face death. We need to understand death. I recall one time, big businessman, director and the owner of Travelers Beach in Nandi, I was invited, he was a well-known person to the politician, all the big business people. I went and conducted the funeral. After the funeral, then uh, second day, myself and my Randini, we visited a uh, Randini of that uh, brother. As soon as we enter, the brother enter the house, the Randini raised the question. He said, Tatala, I want to know where is my husband? I want to see my husband. It really breaks my heart. These are the kind of questions will be raised when we don't understand about death. Another case, when I was uh, working for that company, Punjis, I used to be the paymaster and the HR. And it come to a, a time, one of the managers passed away. Then uh, an insurance rep came and see me if I can accompany him to go and deliver the check to the widow. As soon as I, we enter to that lady, the widow, we went inside, then I informed that lady, uh, Bani, we got the check for you because your husband was insured. At the top of her voice, she shouted and said, Vata, amme mango check, amme amaradmi. I don't want the check. I want my man. Oh, mebu ke ikendanaka. I totally lost. So this morning, that's why Paul stated, comfort one another with this word, because Paul taught the Thessalonians about the second coming of Jesus. They were quite dogmatic that the second coming of Jesus would be soon, within their lifetime. But then some of the early Thessalonian people died. They were confused. Was God punch, punishing them because of their sin? Will they miss the glory, the final glory that will come when Jesus returns? All of these questions have been raised by the church people in Thessalonians. Then, this was their question. When Timothy visited the Thessalonians, then he related to Paul based on the feedback which was brought by Timothy after he visited the Thessalonians church. Then Paul wrote this letter. And I want to challenge you. I want to, like to share three truths about this, uh, about this, uh, this uh, uh, confusion. Paul stated in verse 13 where our text has been taken, do not be ignorant about those who fall asleep. The Bible using this terminology, asleep means death. We should not be ignorant about those. We should not be ignorant about Tal Talasira is lying here. Hallelujah. This is what has happened to the Thessalonians. They couldn't understand where their early people will, will be end up to. Or oh, they have died because of their sin. Or oh, it's because God has punished them. Or oh, they have missed the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ where God will bless us. No. That's why Paul stated, do not be ignorant about those who are asleep. Because 
They didn't understand what Jesus is promised in the book of John chapter 14, where he stated, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe me also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it's not so, I will go and prepare a place for you, and I will return, and I will come and receive you to be with me forever. Hallelujah. That is very important for us to understand about death. Time, Taltala, we say goodbye to you today. But when the Lord returns, we're going to meet Taltala again with rejoicing. It's not only that. He doesn't say not, no, he does not only say do not be ignorant about those who are dead, those who are fall asleep. But he said, and do not grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. We need not to grieve. We can grieve because we miss him, because he plays his role as a good father. He plays his role as a good pastor, as a good leader. Amen. So we can uh, uh, grieve in that, in that uh, aspect of life. But to us who died in the Lord, the Bible says here, do not grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. To us who died in the Lord, we have hope. Amen. Praise the Lord. For us, we have hope. We believe in the resurrection. We believe the Lord went and prepared a better place for us. We believe the word of God, heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word shall never fail. We believe what he said, God is not a man that he should lie. As he promised, he never fulfilled, and he said, it will not be done. No, Luke 21, 33, I believe, heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word shall never fail. And I thank God this morning, to those they have hope, they have a certain character. To those they have no hope, they don't accept Jesus. They live carelessly. They live anyhow. They live to please themselves. They live that just to enjoy this life, but they never foresee uh, for they are their eternity. No wonder the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 3, everyone who has this hope in him purify himself just as he is. To those who have this hope, they purify themselves. Ask your friends sitting close to you, do you have this hope? Hallelujah. If you have this hope, then your lifestyle should be straight. Your lifestyle should be clean. Prabhu Gijay, Mary. So it's very important. It's very important for you to have this hope. This is the message, not for Talatalasira. Talatalasira is gone. This is a message for you and I, for us to know ourselves, whether we have hope or doesn't have hope. So the Bible clearly states in verse 1 John 3, 3, everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is. He is pure. He is holy. No wonder the Bible says in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 15 to 16, but just as he who called you is holy, you should know who calls you. How is he? What is situation? What is culture? God who call us, as we know, who call us is holy, so we should be holy in all you do. In all. Not only in church. Not only in the ministry. Not 24-7. Inside the church or outside the church. Seven days. Not only on Sunday. It's very important for us to know who call us because he is holy. So in all we do, we should be holy. As the Bible says in verse 16. It, as it is, for it is written, be holy because I am holy. That's the first truth this morning. For you not to be ignorant, for you to know death, for you to know not to be grieved, hallelujah, as the, the unbelievers, as no who. Second truth, that death does not rob the blessing of his second coming. Death doesn't rob. The Thessalonians, they were confused. The Thessalonians, they were in the dark. They didn't understand. That's why the Holy Spirit led Paul to write this letter. Because Paul, only three week ministry, Three weeks ministry in Thessalonians, Paul was chasing away from Thessalonians. Only three weeks. Then Paul entrusted the life of the church through to the Holy Spirit, to the God the Father, and God the Son. And I thank God. Another way Paul concerned about them, he sent Timothy to go and do the follow-up. When he went to do the follow-up, when he came back, came back with the feedback. Now the letter goes. And I thank God this morning. This is the way, this is the, the structure of our of our caring and uh, look after the fellowship. We do send out Timothy. There's so many Timothy in our fellowship, in the Rambi fellowship. So many Timothy there. Praise the Lord. 
And the God the Father is there. God the Son is there. God the Holy Spirit there. Then the Word of God is there. All these, these are the same thing Paul uh, was uh, been used as an instrument to build the church in Thessalonians. We believe Jesus died and rose again according to the book of First uh, Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 14. We believe Jesus died and rose again and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. Praise the Lord. So death does not rob the blessing of his second coming. So Tal Tal Sira doesn't miss that. Praise the Lord. As in verse 15 it says, According to the Lord's own word, we tell you, we who are still alive, who are left till the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. Amen. We thank God. It's very important for us who are still alive. We need to continue work with God. We need to maintain our better relationship with God in our prayer life to see, to communion with God in our prayer life, then in His Word, for us to read His Word, meditate in His Word, live and be the do of His Word. Hallelujah. That is very important. Very, very important. Uh, our spiritual relationship with God needs to be maintained because we believe that death does not rob the blessing of our second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The third truth this morning, the time of resurrection time of the resurrection from verse 16 from where our text has been taken from verse 16 the Bible declares for the Lord himself will come down from heaven there is no other Lord crowned from heaven only one Lord who is the King of Kings the Lord of Lord he will come down from heaven Wow we have 14 promises we have 14 chiefs Oh, those are respective in the 14 provinces. But this one, more than the chief, more than the king, because he reside in heaven. He will come down from heaven. That's how important you and I this morning. Because he come down from heaven, then with a loud command, hallelujah, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, the Bible declares, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Tala, tala, sira, and them will rise first to those they died in the Lord. Wow, what a beautiful message to hear this morning. Paul enlightened the Thessalonians. Be, comfort each other with this word. Comfort each other with this truth. Be not ignorant about death. Be not ignorant. <coughs> Don't creep to those that have died in the Lord as those just like those they don't have hope. No, be rejoiced in the Lord. And I thank God this morning because death doesn't rob the blessing of his second coming. Not only that, because we know the time of the resurrection, as I said earlier, heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word shall never fail. And I thank God this morning. <coughs> with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. <coughs> wow. If the Lord will return tomorrow, Tala Tala Sira will rise first before us. Tatala Sira will wave to us. I'm on my way. Where? Where? To heaven. Tatala, you can join later. You can join later. The dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left. Still alive, but in the Lord. Not only still alive with only our breath, but not in the Lord. Still alive, but in the Lord. Praise the Lord. So this is the beautiful message for you and I. Are listening this morning in this live stream you better check yourself pastor Sira has gone to a better place he is in the Lord what about you and I watching this live stream are you in the Lord or are you in the church hallelujah the church is come from the Greek word ecclesia the call out ones the call out ones from the darkness to the light outside of Jesus to be in Jesus the disobedient to be in to be obedient the call of God this is the call of God to you and I. For us, after that, we who are still alive and are left. But we have to ask this ourselves. I'm still alive, I'm still left. But am I in the Lord? Hallelujah. Or am I in my position in the church? People respect me. Oh, my position as a GS won't take me there. I have to be in the Lord. My position, my title is my functioning, my responsibility. It doesn't justify me to take me to where the place to the place where God has prepared. No, I have to be in the Lord. 
If I am wearing this title GS, but I'm not in the Lord, everything in me. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm sorry I'm so harsh to you this morning because I love you. I want you to spend your eternity to Jesus' eternity this morning. Then the Bible says, after the, we who still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the cloud. Woo! We will be caught up together in the cloud. First time when I went to New Zealand, I thought New Zealand just like heaven. When I got off from the plane, I went outside. Oh, it's just like Fiji. I step and kick the, uh, the soil. See, it's just like Fiji. Only Fiji is warm, but here it's, it's cold. Everything is just the same. But no place can be compared in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. So we'll be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Amen. Woo! 1983, can't forget, when I was in Sao Sao, I go in and out in Randy. I love to preach in Sao Sao town. Start the walk in uh, Naivita. I love the Banaban people come to the fellowship. But then my time finished there. I came back. Then I only wish if I could have reside in Sao Sao. Because I love the weather, I love the food, I love the people, I love their loving heart. Because when they come to my working place, they come with a belly, they come with a root cross, they come with a feast, they come with a crab. It was my paradise. Wow. Well, but certain time I enjoy that. But when I came, oh, I just wish. But here it says, to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Amen. Wow. Well, you know, so grateful. We will be with the Lord forever. Tatala, what we're going to experience there when we will be with the Lord. When we will be the Lord. John wrote in the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 4. When we will be there, God will wipe up, wipe out all away all our tears from our eyes. And there shall be no more death over there. When we will be with the Lord forever, there will be no death there. No more farewell service for anybody. Wow. Eternity, eternity, eternity. There will be no more death. There will be no sorrow. Over here, COVID-19. You just go to hospital, swap. Oh, positive. 14 days. No sorrow there. No sorrow. No crying there. People admitted hospital. They want to come back. 14 days. Then they count the number of days left. There is only in their mind. How many days left? How many days left? I want to go and see my spouse. I want to go and see my children. I want to go back to work. Oh, sorrow there. There will be no crying there. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Just to celebrate that God will take us and we will be with Him forever. This is the environment when we are with Him forever. Where there will be no tears, no death, no sorrow, no crying. Never shall be no more pain. Woo! No more pain. Tatal just cut the grass. He has done a good job with the team. They clean their compound. Little he knows. Then he had his shower. Then again, he runs short of breath after having shower. Pain. Then they tried to revive him. But Tantala, the Lord's plan was even for him to go, to return. Just say goodbye to us. That's why we are here this morning. No more pain. Tantala, you have pain here. Maybe medication here. Because of the, what you call asthma, because of the cholesterol, diabetic, whatever form of sickness, pressure, but uh, maybe we take uh, medication. It's good, that's only the extension, but over there, there will be no pain. Remind your friends whom you are sitting with, there will be no pain there. No more pain there. Because the Bible says, for the former things are passed away. Former things passed away. All this will be passed away in New Jerusalem. Wow. I want to thank the Lord this morning for this message and I believe God will bless each and every one of us this morning. As you hear this message, to those of you who are tuning in this live stream, I believe the Lord is speaking to you. Tatala has gone to a better place. What about you this morning? Are you in the Lord? I thank God that you are able to access into this platform to hear this message because I believe this message for each and every one of us. 
So shall we close our eyes? Let's turn to the Lord in order of prayer. Lord, we thank you once again for such a time like this. That you have planned for our life. A time to be born and a time to die. Time to come, a time to return to you. But we need to be prepared. I do pray, Lord, for each and every one. Lord, who are accessing this live stream, listening to your word, I do pray, Lord, enable them, Lord, to come to thee in the heart of repentance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do pray, Lord, have mercy on them. Forgive them, O Lord. Pardon them. We pray, Lord, cleanse them, Lord, through your precious blood, so we can be part of your church in whom you are building. You are the head of the church. You are the owner of the church. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The gate, the church whom you are building. We thank you, Lord, this morning that you came and demonstrated the love of the Father when you took our place on the cross on Calvary. And your blood was shed for us to be cleansed and be justified. And we thank you, Jesus, this morning. Each and every saint of God have realigned their life after listening to this word. Lord, that they have repented and they take the step of repentance to God. Hallelujah. Confessing their sin, admit that they are sinner. I do pray, Lord, have mercy on them, O oh God, this morning. Forgive them and receive them with your loving arm. Because there is no one can snatch away any life from your hand. Because this is the will of the Father as you stated in your word. To raise them again. To keep them, Lord, to your eternity. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor Sira. We farewell him this morning. Do pray, Lord, let your peace flow through the family, the spouse, and the children of God. Hallelujah. Be the source of strength upon their life. Do be, be the father for their life, for the family. Do provide for them for their daily living, especially for their spiritual work with you. Lord, we pray and commit all this in other name. But through our praises in the worthy name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, MC. Reverend Altico, for the word of God that has been shared this morning to us. As we farewell Pastor Sarah this morning, I hope that you are touched this morning by the word of God. Now we farewell Sarah here, but I believe he has been promoted up to heaven. It's all of us that are here. One day, time will also be ours. That only God knows, that only God hides from us today. But tomorrow he knows. And that's all where we are going as we depart from him. With that, I would like to invite uh, Pastor Mita to come and share a tribute to the life of Pastor Sir. Standing here in front is not easy, especially when you fail when you somebody lost in your family, your friend. I just want to share the moment I began the talker. With Pastor Sia. I came here in 2017, and he uh, was the only, he's the first one who, uh, he was said since I was looking for me, uh, 
was here today, he came from Rand. And my pastor, Mario, uh, called him, that, uh, told him that he, I'm here. The time I met him, and this is what he said. Why did you, why did you not come to sit? No, I was new to this place. I don't know where the attending sit. But he was calling around and asking uh, people to know where um, I am. But he found me and I joined the church and he was my uncle from my mother's side. And I was so close to him. Until that time he was uh, taken, I was here. Every time I leave home, my children always know that I'll be uh, visiting Pastor uh, Sierra. And this is the only place I come. I share, and he always uh, tell me all his plan. And I was, because I was his board member, I always uh, activate. It is my duty to activate every every plan for the church. been supporting him for when I'm here. And it's so sad to see him leaving us this time. And also encourage us to move forward. When I came, he always always share and always tell me to encourage our church members to attend the Rima Bible School. His first plan was buying the church van and we questioned why not the land and this is what he said to me. I love, I, I, I see the church members are not coming because they are financial and buying the van is bringing them to the church. See the man of God he always here to serve, not to be served. And I hear, uh, I've been told by other friends and other uh, pastors that he, he has done a lot. He even pick and drop the members. And he's driving, and when the members don't have the fare, he said, don't worry, just come to church. He always digs his pocket and and by the fuel instead of people collecting from us he has a big heart he always in his plan when he invites the uh, lecturers from the Rima, I was the first one master I'm inviting the Tala Tala and then we have in dinner here you want to join I, I never miss my family never miss whatever he tell me we always do I believe we have a different path in this ministry there are people who are supporting the mission of our pastors and I am standing in front of you as one of them one of them Even you, I advise, I look at my age and his age, but he asks me, Master, what do you think about this? And I was just, I think we better, I give my advice, even though I was younger than him, even though I'm his uh, nephew, I always. 
until the last day that uh, on Friday. This was the last word that he was telling. If the board I suffer, can you take me to Suba? I want to see my grandson. Don't worry. We're doing online course. I'll take you to Suba in the open. If the board is open. He always say about his family and uh, uh, missing his family and also uh, mostly the, the jets and uh, about the trip and uh, whatever that city is planning. He always tell me and motive, uh, give me some insight of how to run, how to uh, organize things and is the way he want. And, these are the words that I want to, to share about him. We really miss you, Tartala. You're giving, uh, telling, giving us a good lesson about a big heart, a heart of a sinner to be, uh, to, to save God faithfully. And when people are need help, we are here to help our fellow members. And thank you, Tartala. And with these words, it's our prayer that God will bless your family and give them peace in their hearts. Thank you. start off uh, I want to thank God for um, blessing us with a, a great dad uh, uh, a humble and understanding dad um, I speak on behalf of my siblings to thank you all families for <coughs> coming through. Um, it's a hard time that we're facing. But I believe God has, God made the final plan for everyone. And his plans are the best plan. Amen. Amen. Um, we're so grateful to have a dad to have a dad like Sarah. We've had so many moments, so many plans. I had a loss, but God makes the final plan. So I will just be reading um, um, eulogies from mom. And um, her message goes like this. I'm in deepest sorrow at this time of the passing of my dearest loving husband, father to our children, 
and letting that throat run some. I thank God for giving me such a humble, caring, honest, and faithful husband anyone can ask for. I'm so grateful and blessed for all the 23 years of our life together. Knowing him inside and out, he is a man of purity, holiness, which he tries to be and keep. And, his, and by his ways, anyone can tell that he is. I'm in deep sorrow as I cannot be with him during his present, during his last days on earth. But in my heart, I know without any doubt that my dear husband is now in heaven with our loving Savior. He is the man that is so honest and true serving God faithfully to his family and everyone him and everyone who knows him. He is a man that does what he preaches, a man of his words. He is someone that we know who is good is a good leading example of a true follower of Christ, who lives a Christ like life and and that who knows him would learn from his ways. He is a man so he is a man so true to his duties of serving God faithfully, physically, even though he might seem tired, but but he tries his best to do what he can to please God. I owe him my whole life to this loving man God has chosen for me and I thank God for giving him to me, our children and our grandson. Our images are his images here on earth and I'm thankful for their lives. We the family which will surely dearly miss his humbleness, love and kindness he had shown to us, also to the members of the congregation. A truly faithful servant of God that we plan to have as a couple of our family, but God has a final plan. He makes the final decision that no one knows. Just like it says in Revelation 14, 13, Then I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, said the Spirit, they will rest from the labor, for their deeds will follow him. Um, his last preaching to me on Tuesday night was that we must prepare our walls so that, the, so that when enemies come, it is well secured. And I believe with all my heart that he was secured well before he went to be with his heavenly Father. I know deep in my heart that he is resting in the arms of our heavenly Father. I will miss him dearly and will love him forever. May my dear husband's soul rest in eternal peace. I love you, Paul. Yes, Mars, you all love you. And uh, from our family in New Zealand, this all goes like this. Psalms 23, verses 4. Even though I walk through the valley, through the valley, of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. May your rod and your staff they comfort me. To our dear brother, uncle, father, grandfather, husband, and friend, Sira Tanyara, thank you for being the most humble and kind-hearted soul. Thank you for the pure love you have shown my kids, husband, and I. I especially want to thank you for opening your arms to my mother, my sister, brother, and their kids, as well as my family while we were over during the holiday. Thank you for loving my children and seeing they were yours. Your smile, your smile was contagious. Your heart was so pure and you generally cared for everyone. Even if you only had just met them, thank you for being the man you were. Although our hearts are broken, we are at peace knowing that you are finally resting up in heaven, thanking God for the life you live, for the lives you have touched, and for continuously sharing the word of God. Rowena, Elmina, and Frederick, continue the life that your father would have wanted you all to live. Although he is gone, his reputation and his memories 
will live on forever. We will continue to pray for your guidance, strength, and blessings upon you and your family. We love you all forever and always. May you continue to rest in God's loving arms, Sira Daniela. Love from Patrick, Sikula, and children. Then before I conclude, I thank you all, family and friends, church members, thank you for being here, and um, thank you for the love and support you showed the dead and us. And I pray that you all be continuously blessed abundantly to our families that cannot make it, but um, send their support to um, finance or just sending love and prayers and uh, remembering us in your, in your prayers. Thank you all so much. Words cannot describe how grateful we are, but we just pray that God continue to bless us all. Thank you so much. I know that uh, <clears throat> it's not a easy thing to do as we farewell a fellow worker in the kingdom of God. And also a dear friend. On behalf of uh, Rima Bible College, I stand here this morning to salute uh, Pastor Sira Tanera for his commitment as he always gave his life. Whenever we, we need help, especially in, uh, in printing out our notes in the Rima Bible College, he is the one who will be there uh, and taking care of all of the printouts. And also we, we will miss him uh, very much. As I took over from uh, Reverend Green uh, Kunanitu in his uh, senior class, I find uh, Tautalasira as a, a gentle and a humble man. And uh, we, we learn a lot from him, from how he lived, from how he do this. And especially uh, in uh, doing what he always say. On behalf of uh, Rima Bible College this morning, I once again thank the family. I thank uh, the Rambi Ethnic uh, Church here in Lotoka for always uh, taking care of us and uh, making us feel at home whenever we are here in Lotan. We thank you, Tantalasira, we thank you, the whole church of our Rabbi ethnic here, and also the family for the commitment and uh, the sacrifice made towards the school. On that note, I, it is our prayer that uh, our Heavenly Father will give peace and comfort uh, in uh, the families, in the church, in our, uh, in the, for the rest of the relatives in such a time as we are going through right now. Thank you very much. And God bless us.
is nearly coming to an end, but I think we still have time. And uh, with that, I just want to share my pastor, a friend. He was more for me. He was more than a, a pastor. I'm a Fijian. I hardly didn't even know how to speak in Rengu. I left Suwe in 2013 and find job here in Nyadi. Him and Randini provided the transport just so that uh, we can communicate and talk on the way here. And that will be the second time we, we met. On the way, he asked me to lead the youth ministry in church. And so, under his leadership, for the past seven years that I've joined the Rambi speaking church, many times I want to since I live in Nandi, I want to find a church in Nandi. But our relationship, you know, I can joke to him, I can talk to him as a leader, as a youth leader, and also as a friend. And many things we share. And this man has a heart that can go, that goes very low. Has a heart. for everyone. When I accepted his calling for me to lead the youth ministry, I normally travel from Nandi every Friday and I stay with a family every weekend. For more than two years, I eat, I sleep at the residence in Kasmi. I talk with him and everything I see in him, he has a heart that is bigger than himself for the work of God. And even till the day God called him, he has a vision. And God has a plan. He has dreams. And I think God brought me so that we can fulfill the dream and the vision that God has given. Like Mita has said, we bought a church van, but that was the second plan. First plan is to find a land to build a church for the Rambi FM. And years passed and finance is not, you know, we couldn't find the land and we said, and he has a heart for the church members every Sunday. And he was speaking about transport and all. And I said, okay, Tata, what about we invest in a van first? We buy the van. And his heart wants to know more about God. He wants to go to Bible school. He shared his dream. At that very time as well, I have met Simon and Aliyah. One day I went with them to drop them at the house. And they shared their heart that, that they one day want to be a pastor. God works in many ways. I came back to him and said, Papa, why don't the church send somebody from church to the Bible school? Because he wants to go, and I said, Tata, if you go, who will look after the ship? Who will look after the church at that time? You know, he agreed. It was very, very close. And today, Samuel is nearly completing the three years in the Bible school. 
it was nearly a, nearly a handover of position. Pastor has planned that as soon as Samuel Finn is graduated, you know, he'll look after the work here and his heart is going to carry us to start a church. He's gone to New Zealand for the Rambi speaking. His heart is, is big. And that is this man. You know, the family here. No, I stay with them. They were like sisters and brothers. You know, my heart. And I told Randini. I even told my wife. His passing is more than I miss my mother. And my wife questioned. Are you really sure? And I said, maybe that's it. But I'll tell her you have done. You have fight a good fight. You run the race, and I believe in my heart that God has prepared a place special for you, for the big heart that you have, for the church, for the friends, and I know many people, even when you visit his home, I know you will eat, you sleep, and it's up to you when you want to go back. And today is really hard for us to let him go, even me also. But God has a plan, and there's two things that he always hides from us. One is our final destination, which is to be with Christ. And the other one, which is death, which we don't know when God is going to call us. But in all saying that, God has prepared this man. In everything that church do, you know, he has vision, and we are just here to fulfill God's given vision to the men of God that are here. And we will continue to do the work that God has for us today. We are here the living, and we thank God for his life. Also thank all those that are watching today due to this restriction. I know you want to be here. For the family, Randini, we thank you for your support and prayers to the family today. You know. Now I would like to. As we close this morning I would like to call Brother Tamuel just to give a, a vote of thanks this morning Thanks. 
Tuhan aturan aliu. Problem cipok. Nah, very good service this morning. Once again, on behalf of the whole family, I thank you very much. For the word of God, you saw the share my beginning. Ito. Ito sa marauta ka sa ating goma. Nabosa ni Kalo. Nabosa ni Ito kasi pinamina ka sa damtayan. Balik sa mga putsil na dati sa mga pinakasarap ang halimu ng prato. Pinakasarap ang halimu ng kemri, yara kumain na kong ngayaw. Halimu ni Loto, yara kumay. Nabukun na na matawag ba kani. Siya sa tamay, ay nilirea sa tamay. Usapo ka din na kina ba halimu. Ay kemri ka. Pinakasarap ang kalibu. Sa atin ba lang ganun? Pinabang kami na ganun lang ang kalibu. Kuha na po siya sa kalibu. Sa atin na kalibu. Sa atin na kalibu. I'm now called upon Pastor Elijah to come and close us with a prayer. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that he, he has done for us, Lord. <coughs> Even, Lord, we don't believe that he is God. But we know, Lord, the words that says even our thoughts are far off, Lord. You know, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the life of Pastor Sira. And I pray for comfort for all the families in New Zealand, in Suba, here in Lord. Lord, I pray for peace and the fellowship of your Holy Spirit, Lord, upon the families, Lord. I pray for the, the word of encouragement, Lord, to them, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that he has done for us, Pastor Sir. Thank you for your love. Thank you for everything that you, are, that you have done for us, Lord. Father God, we commit this time to your hands, Lord. And we pray thank you, Lord, for the families that are here. We give back all the glory and the honor and praise in Jesus' mighty name we pray and all the children of God to say. Amen. Amen. service is uh, complete for us. Um, now we'll be taking the, the body to the cemetery. Uh, at 12 o'clock we should be at the cemetery and we are right now at 11.35. So we have uh, 25 minutes, say 10 minutes over here. And then from here we'll be going up to the cemetery. From the cemetery, after the burial, we invite you back here to the house. Uh, there will be food pack provided. For each uh, family. So each family members will, uh, will come. So food bags are provided for each family and due to these restrictions uh, people cannot be staying together like more than 10. Eh? So you can either take a food and you go to your home but please come back and pick up the food. That's for all of you that are here today.
frustration magically fades into peace and I'm reborn let your love shine through me to the world and I'm restored Every day the world gets a little bit harder now And every night I try to ease the pain And all the time I try to get a little bit further now Through the wind and the rain Every day the world gets a little more broken up Sometimes the darkness drowns the light But only by your grace I'm so happy I've woken up Now I praise your name Cause you never let me down You turned me around Showing me the truth I was lost but now I'm found Help me change my ways Now all of my days I praise you 
praise your name. I praise your name. Now I live for you. Now I, live now I know what to do. What to do. Living by your word. By now my word. gray skies are blue. Yeah. I can see the light. See I the am light. living by rest. Cause I know I am blessed. With you in my life, I'm a little bit wiser now. Speaking to my heart to guide my way. You help me pass the word, so I lift your name higher now. Showing me your goodness every day. Cause you never let me down. You turn me around. Showing me the truth, I was lost but now I'm found Help me change my ways, now all of my days I praise your name, I praise your name Now I live for you, now I know what to do Living by your word, now my grace sky Then uh, we will uh, take Pastor Sira down With it There's only 10 people allowed inside So the video the live streaming will only be done uh, from up here, and uh, there's nothing allowed inside. It's only the ten uh, people. For all of you that are watching, uh, due to this COVID restriction, uh, this is as far that uh, most of us will be, and only ten people will be allowed down there. So at the moment there is a funeral going on, so we'll just wait. Once that is done, then uh, we'll. Uh, We'll continue with the rest of the... the problem. I can see the light. I am living my best. Cause you never let me down. You turn me around. Showing me the truth. I was lost but now I'm found. Help me change my ways. Now all of my days I praise your name. 